Hello everybody. Right now we're having a solar eclipse. It's only partial. I don't live in the area where um, it's a total eclipse, but right now it's like just after 3.20 p.m. and they said its biggest uh, totality for my area would be around 3.20. So it's not complete, but it's partial. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit darker out here. And I don't think you're supposed to point your camera directly towards the sun, but yeah, uh, it's too bright. And I don't have eclipse glasses, so I can't really look at it with a bare eye because if you do, that'll make you blind. But. I mean, you can kind of look at it from the corner of your eye, but, like, don't look at it directly, I think. But I don't know if you can tell, if you can see the shadow. It actually is a little bit darker out. Now, in the areas where it's a total eclipse, it gets, like, even more darker. And, like, for example, um, in Texas, where a couple of my online friends live... Some parts of Texas are in the total eclipse zone. Where I live here in Connecticut, we're in the partial eclipse zone. So it's not fully dark, but it's a little bit darker. There. That's all I'm getting. So if you don't know what a solar eclipse is, a solar eclipse is when the moon blocks the sun's light and that's what makes it darker out so basically the difference between a partial eclipse and a total eclipse a partial solar eclipse means that the moon doesn't completely block the sun but it partially blocks it you know it blocks it you know a little bit but not completely and then a total eclipse is when the moon completely blocks the whole entire sun. So that will totally eliminate darkness. Yeah, there's no people out. Good. So yeah, that's the difference between partial and total eclipses. It's definitely darker than usual because of the eclipse. I don't know how well it's picking it up, but it's obviously my neighbor's home. Better move out of the way. But um, anyways, yeah, so I'm having a partial eclipse, and in my area, the moon is partially blocking the sun. There's a person over there watching the eclipse because she's having a good time. But yeah, if you want to look at it directly, you have to have solar eclipse glasses. Because if you don't have those glasses, you will get blind. It's very, very bad for your eyes. So always wear glasses if you want to directly look at the, at the eclipse. Whether it's total or not, you need to have solar eclipse glasses. Again, I don't. So that's why I'm not looking directly at it. But... I mean, in general, you shouldn't look up directly at the sun because it is super bright. In some areas, the eclipse is total. For example, Texas and some other states. I can't remember which ones, but some of those states are in a total eclipse. My state, however, is in a partial eclipse. And places like California and Oregon, I think the eclipse that happened back in 2017, there was a total eclipse in Oregon. Um, I, I don't uh, know much about California. And when the solar eclipse happened back on August 21st, 2017, I don't think that it came to my area much at all. But this eclipse is partially 
coming in my area because it's a little bit dimmer out here. I'll try to pick it up one more time on person before the sunlight comes back. the neighbors were just going out and my guess is they were going farther to see the eclipse he just came back in his truck as he drove out in his truck probably about three hours ago or something like that yeah but now he's home Still dark out. You can see, there's my shadow. I wish my iPad camera would pick it up uh, more in person because in person it's actually, you know, pretty dim out. It kind of looks cloudy, but with, you know, a blue sky and clouds. So it's kind of weird. Not used to seeing that, but. That's what a partially eclipse does. So, I'm actually happy it's a gorgeous day because we actually get to see the full view of a partial eclipse. Now, of course, a total solar eclipse would be way more interesting because then it would get fully dark. Well, you know, not fully, but it would probably look like a summer night in a total solar eclipse. So, yeah, pretty interesting, I have to say. I didn't get to see the moon get into the sun, but that's what happens. That's what happens when a solar eclipse comes to America. And of course, the sun's too bright anyway, so you're not going to be able to see it. And besides, if you do that, it'll blind your eyes out. So, you need to make sure... You have those special solar eclipse glasses. Oh wow, look, my neighbors, look, they're even watching the eclipse. Everybody's watching it, everybody. That's how interesting it is. And I hope they're not directly looking at the sun, oh boy. That would be bad. But it's a little darker than usual. If you don't know my other neighbors, you know, who live in the house that's in my, my backyard, they just came home in their truck also. I don't think I caught it on video. I thought my neighbor George was going to pull in to the backyard, but then he didn't. But of course, my other neighbors did because that's where they park in my backyard. So they were looking up at the sky, watching the eclipse. And you can't really see it unless you have those glasses. Because, you know, they're even darker than sunglasses. And that allows you to see the eclipse. So you could actually see it if you do have those glasses. If you don't, you're not going to see a thing. The sun is way too bright. And you don't want to look at it directly anyways. Because it will blind your eyeballs out. So, if you want to see what... A solar eclipse actually looks like when the moon gets in front of the sun. Always wear solar eclipse glasses. Get them from somewhere. There's a bunch of people walking outside right now, but hopefully they're not looking directly up at the sun. Especially for a couple seconds. I don't know much about solar eclipses, but I think the darker it gets, the more dangerous it is for your eyes. I don't know how true this is, but that's something that I believe. But if you have a total solar eclipse, it gets fully dark. If you have a partial eclipse, it starts to get a little dark out, but not completely. But you do start to see those shadows. 
but I think it's rather interesting. It's rather cool. It's not something that happens every single day or year. So, yeah. So, depending on where you live, maybe you saw the complete totality and it got fully dark in your area. Or maybe you're like me and you only got to see, you know, part of it. Now, when we had the eclipse in 2017, that solar eclipse, at that time, I wasn't even that interested into it. And again, I don't think back then it came to my area. But I know some partial solar eclipse states are my state, I think Massachusetts, um, but I think places like New York, New Jersey, Maine, where else, New Hampshire, Texas, some spots of Texas, not the whole entire Texas. Those states are the totality zone. I don't know the rest. I keep on forgetting it. But, yeah. Where I live, it was only partial. But if you are lucky and you live in the totality zone, hopefully you are pretty happy by what you saw. I'm happy with what I saw, even though it wasn't a complete eclipse. But it was still rather interesting. And I think it's just about over. It's still a little dark out, but... It's been like 12 minutes of me talking, so I'm sure the eclipse is about to end and the moon is gonna, you know, move away from the sun. And things will get back to normal. I don't think we're gonna have our next solar eclipse until 2031. But that could be incorrect. Because sometimes the internet lies to you. But again, it doesn't happen every day. It's a rare occasion. Eclipses are not that common to happen every single day, every single year. They happen every, every, you know, couple, couple years. And our last solar eclipse was 2017. Our next one... 2031 because that's what I heard that could be wrong because sometimes the news lies but that's what I heard so one thing I haven't touched upon yet when a solar eclipse happens the phase of the moon is usually a new moon where there's no sunlight going towards the moon whatsoever. It's totally dark. And there's a difference between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. I haven't touched up on a lunar eclipse yet either. Let me get into that. A lunar eclipse is when the moon turns completely blood red. I think a lunar eclipse, you know, like a red moon, you can actually look at that. Like when the moon's like in its blood red color. But I think a lunar eclipse has something to do with the Earth's shadow. While a solar eclipse is the moon getting in front of the sun. I think I remember experiencing a sol excuse me, a solar eclipse. I'm just used to saying that because that's what this video is about. But I experienced a lunar eclipse back in September 2015 I think it was September 28th of 2015 we had a lunar eclipse and it did you know reach totality in my area I remember going outside that night and seeing the moon it was completely blood red so pretty interesting and a lunar eclipse happens when the phase of the moon is a full moon so pretty much the opposite of a new moon so maybe a lesson you didn't know a science lesson Solar eclipse happens when it's a new moon. A lunar eclipse happens when it's a full moon. 
So there's a person walking on the street. Even he's looking up at the eclipse. Better run away. I don't want to get confronted. You know me. We don't want that. No. But anyway, so lunar eclipse, you know, the Earth's shadow reflects off the moon or something like that. Like, I'm not totally sure. I don't want to spread misinformation. But it is something along those lines. And again, it makes the moon completely blood red in color. So, it's rather interesting. You can actually see a lunar eclipse without those eclipse glasses. But a solar eclipse, you have to have glasses to see it. Also, to protect your eyes. Oh my gosh, that, that wasn't the same neighbor that confronted me when I was filming a garbage video, was it? That could have been him. That kind of looked like him. I was just thinking, because he, he suddenly disappeared. I don't see him walking on the sidewalk. Oh boy. But yeah, I mean, yep, solar eclipse is going away. It's starting to get later out again. You can see. Uh, so yeah, this is going to conclude my video. And hopefully the next time we get a solar eclipse, it will be totality zone in my area. If so, that'll be interesting. Um, no, I'm good. Actually, yeah, I'll try it. All right. My neighbor's going to give me some glasses. Hold on. It looks really cool. Oh. Yeah, the sun is like a little thing on Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the little yellow thing is just the sun. Hold on. I don't... Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, now I can see it. Yeah, like the, yellow, yeah, like the little yellow thing of the sun. Yeah. Cool. Look at me. Here. I don't think you can see. No, I don't think my iPad catches it. But uh, I can. It's pretty darn cool. All right. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You too, man. Oh, wow. Looks like I get to keep these. And I don't know if you guys can see. Or maybe. Oh, you, you might be able to. Look at that. But it doesn't catch it completely. It's just like a big. It, lo it looks like it's just the actual sun. Wow, my neighbor said, hey, you want some glasses? And I said, sure. And wow, that made the video even more interesting. Because now I can actually see it. Wow. My day just got a whole lot more interesting, folks. It looks, in person you can see it perfectly, but on the camera view, you can, I can't even see anything besides the, you know, the eclipse. But it's actually, yeah, like, you can't see it. But when I put these on, Oh my God. I wish you could completely see that, but in person it's like, it actually looks like totality, kind of. It's not complete totality. The, it kind of looks like the moon is a crescent, but it's actually the sun being covered by the moon. Okay, I wish you could see it from the camera, but it doesn't show that well. But it's actually quite interesting. 
hey, I actually get to keep these. So now next time you have a solar eclipse, I can use these glasses. So thanks a lot to my nice neighbors. Now I get a pair of glasses. See, I told you at the beginning, they were watching the eclipse, but um, I didn't even know they had glasses, but apparently they do. So because of them, I lucked out. Now I got my own solar eclipse glasses. Let's go. Let's see, that is so cool. I can actually keep these so I can show you what it looks like but it doesn't show too well through my camera yeah that's all I'm getting you know what? I think that'll be the thumbnail so that'll catch people's eye people will see that and they'll be like oh wow he actually did get footage of the solar eclipse and thanks to my neighbors. So special shout out to my neighbors because this wouldn't be possible without them. Wow. That, that is just... You know, there's a big difference between these kinds of glasses and actual sunglasses. Sunglasses don't completely protect you. Well, these do. So if you look directly at it without these on, you're gonna blind yourself to death. And you don't want that. So every time there's a solar eclipse, you wanna look directly at it. Always, you always wanna have these. Or I can maybe do a thumbnail like this or with my glasses on, these are mine. I'll go inside and I'll be like, yo mama, look what my neighbors got me. Yeah, I could ask her to come out here and put these on, but I don't think she'll be totally interested. I'll show you again, shall we? Yeah. I wish you could actually see what it legit looks like. But it doesn't fully catch it. All right, well, this is the video of the solar eclipse 2024. April the 8th, 3.30 p.m. Hopefully you enjoyed. Have a great day. If you got more totality in your area and it got darker, then great. Maybe you can send us a video of what it was like in your area. But for me, it was partial, but I still get to see it because of these glasses. So, yay. So, yeah, this concludes the video and have a great day, everybody.